During the violence surrounding the quota movement, three female journalists were attacked, beaten up, and sexually assaulted while discharging their professional duties in Narayanganj's signboard area. The victims are alleging that the local BNP Jamaat activists are involved in these crimes. Police have already arrested eight people suspected of being involved with the incidents. Once the case is filed, the others involved will also be brought to book. To discuss this topic, we have with us in the studio the chief news editor of Independent Digital, Tanvir Sohail. Tanvir Sohail, the duty of journalists is to neutrally report what is happening in society. In the recent violence, three journalists were killed while doing their duty, but the most shameful episode seems to be the attacks, beatings, and sexual assaults of female journalists. What does this say about the decay in our society? What is your analysis? Even if we do not analyze from a sociological perspective, let me put it this way, there were deliberate attacks on journalists. Since 2013, we have been seeing attacks on female journalists. They are often subjected to molestation, etc., when discharging their professional duties. This is unbelievable and completely unacceptable. Why do protesters pounce on female journalists? This is strange. Were they really protesters then? This incident that we saw in Narayanganj, this is simply the mentality of rapists. There is no other way to categorize this. Police Super has already made clear about the arrests already made. Additionally, since the victims are alive, I'm sure they will be able to identify the attackers. We need to ensure exemplary punishment for these criminals. Additionally, there seems to be a trend in recent movements to attack journalists. Sometimes, the protesters seek out and beat up journalists. Particular media houses are targeted, their vehicles are vandalized. This is a very bad sign for protests generally. Protesting is their right, but it is also the journalists' right to collect and present news. There are many women who are employed in the journalism profession. These incidents will make women fearful of joining this profession and dissuade their families from allowing women to venture into reporting. We all remember Nadia Sharman, who was attacked in 2013 during the movement by Hefazate Islam. During the recent movement, we are again seeing such incidents on even bigger scales. In fact, journalists were specifically attacked as planned targets. Yes, journalists are being sought out and attacked. For female journalists, this is even riskier. They are not only getting beaten up with their male colleagues, they are being sexually attacked too. Unless we ensure exemplary punishments for these attackers, then the participation of women in journalism will become doubtful.